From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Wednesday, April 6th, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight, and this is what's going on. Here's the latest on the war in Ukraine. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov says negotiations with Ukraine are continuing despite allegations of war crimes against civilians in the Kyiv suburb of Buka. Peskov said Wednesday the talks continued with Ukraine, but that the Buka revelations, which he referred to as a staging, had hampered talks and there is a fairly long road ahead. The working process continues, but it's going to be much more tough than we would like. Of course, we would like to see more from the Ukrainian side, but the process has not broken off and is continuing, Peskov said. Russia retreated from areas around Kyiv and the northern cities of Cherniv and Sumy after talks with Ukraine and Turkey last week. Ukrainian troops entered the areas and found evidence of widespread killings of civilians. Russia denies any war crimes and has alleged Ukraine has faked the incidents. Since the talks in Turkey, Russia and Ukraine's delegations have continued talks via video link. In news closer to home, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem has issued an executive order instructing the state's Department of Education to review its teacher trainings, content standards, and other educational materials to ensure that they are devoid of divisive concepts on race. Nome's move Tuesday comes after a bill she touted as banning so-called critical race theory from K-12 through classrooms failed to pass the legislature this year. The Republican governor cast the order as restricting critical race theory from classrooms, but its power is limited to the Department of Education. The department produces content standards, teacher trainings, and other material for South Dakota public schools. However, school boards set much of their own policy and curricula. A federal judge has ordered the state to pay the Blue State Refugees Organization damages. Amy Rose has more. A federal judge has ordered the state of South Dakota to pay lawyers for the Blue State Refugees $37,503 after it was found that the Nome administration violated the organization's First Amendment rights. Now, in a 12-page opinion, Judge Roberto Lang, the chief judge of the U.S. District Court of South Dakota, ordered the state to pay the amount following a denial of a permit to protest on state capital grounds. Last November... Members of the Blue State Refugees, it's an organization made up of -of out-of-state transplants to South Dakota for more heavily Democratic areas, attempted to get a permit to protest for more COVID-19 vaccine exemptions on state capital grounds. They were denied the permit. The Rapid City Council this week approved construction for a major downtown Rapid City development called Block 5. The Block 5 project by Lloyd Companies is a multi-purpose building on St. Joe Street. According to the Lloyd Company's website, the building will include 5,000 square feet of commercial space, 130 loft apartments, a Hyatt Place hotel with 117 rooms, and 330 parking spaces. In national and international news, the U.S. and its European allies will impose stiff new sanctions Wednesday, including a ban on new investments in Russia, in retaliation for Russia's war crimes in Ukraine, according to the White House. The joint action also includes toughened sanctions on Russia's financial institutions and government-owned enterprises, and more sanctions on Russian government officials and their family members. The Treasury Department also moved to block any Russian government debt payments with U.S. dollars from accounts at U.S. financial institutions. And the Defense Department is sending Ukraine an additional $100 million worth of military equipment, including Javelin anti-armor systems. Former President Barack Obama returned to the White House yesterday to celebrate an anniversary. Chrissy Davies explains. Former President Barack Obama returned to the White House for a few hours to celebrate the 12th anniversary of his signature health care law. The Affordable Care Act, known for years as Obamacare, is now part of the fabric of the American health care system, and President Joe Biden hopes to extend its reach to many more people. Obama said Tuesday that the ACA was the high point of his time as president. He said the law did what it was supposed to do, providing health insurance coverage to 30 million people. Biden says the law shows hope leads to change, which was a play on Obama's hope and change campaign slogan. Tiger Woods says, for now anyway, he's planning to play this week in the Masters, a little more than a year after he nearly lost a leg in a car crash. The five-time champion at Augusta National made the announcement yesterday morning. He will play nine more practice holes today before making the final decision, but will be doing so with the intention of playing tomorrow. Woods was asked if he believes he could win the tournament. He said he does. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. A high wind warning remains in effect today with a chance of snow showers early and a high of 42. Tonight's low, 31. 
And that was your Daily Slice for Wednesday, April 6th, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose and Chrissy Davies. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.